While my Softer Ink Let's Play is finished up for now until even more changes, I thought I would still cover what has changed in Alpha 11.4, which just recently came out and added a few interesting things that I thought merited its own video, including apparently a how difficult do you find Alpha 11. Of just right, I suppose? I mean, now that the marketing thing is finished up. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I mean, the thing with this, though, this is a little bit misleading. The, um... One of the huge difficulty things with this game is not actually the difficulty you set, but days per month. If you want a super easy time, go for multiple days per month. I typically recommend two days per month. I think that's a pretty okay amount. Much more than three is pushing it, though, because if you go with, like, eight days per month, the game will not only take absolute ages, but you can pump out software pretty much every month because uh, eight, eight days to work on the stuff before the next month is it's pretty extreme. It gives you a much larger deadline to work with. If a contract says they need it done in three months, well, there you go. There's uh, 24 or so days to do it. Significantly easier. However, uh, new stuff for 11.4. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown. We'll just kind of fly through it real fast. How about... First off, we have some pretty nice looking 3D models going on for a lot of the furniture and as I understand it, even some more models are still being worked on and improved. This is the same person who worked on the new people model and also the car models. A lot of things looking generally more detailed and a bit smoother and less polygonal. Looking really nice. A few of those are completely new, and that's because the temperature system has been completely revised. It's now relatively easier to get everything heated and cooled. Uh, I'd say it's a bit of a sidestep. You've got the roof AC that you put down inside a room on the top floor, and it'll automatically put the bed at the ceiling. This is quite expensive, but it cools down the entire building, so it is like the building-wide AC that I was hoping for. There is still just a single room AC in it, which is a lot more affordable. And that just, that, that works the same way it always has, I believe. There's also still the ceiling fans that you can do for a really cheap type thing, although they're a little bit noisy. Not quite as noisy as the AC unit, though, I think. Yeah, it, it's pretty comparable, actually, interestingly. There's still also ventilation. Central cooling units push the cool air out of this to cool down the room. So you'd put down the central air, as I have, and then you put in the ventilation bits inside rooms, and it will automatically route to wherever it needs to, however it needs to. You don't have to deal with the piping and ducting or anything like that. And you can see generally on that little overlay how how what you're putting down will affect things and how generally cooled the room will be. To heat it, there are the radiators, which pump the hot water through, as you'd expect. There's also the electric radiators, though. The electric radiators... Um, not entirely 100% sure. I'd imagine that's probably, what, just like some ceramic that heats up and some fans to blow it or something like that. Whereas the hot water radiators you put down and it, once again, it automatically pipes and routes through from the central heater unit thing here. This massive thing. Auto by temperature outputs. It automatically put down where it needs to the radiators and everything to make that significantly easier so yeah if you if you really don't want to mess with it uh you could just put down like the central heating and the i'm assuming the rooftop also let me go over to one of my other buildings here yeah absolutely auto buy temperature outputs 13 units for 2600 bucks so that's automatically nice and cooled then and super handled and settled so it's really not that bad um it's pretty simple and straightforward, really, and I, I kind of like the system a little bit. It's it's one of those things where it's like, I don't necessarily need to see... I don't really see why it needed to be a thing, but the fact that it is, it's, it's kind of fine. I don't hate it. It just It is what it is. I'm just happy that we've got a building-wide AC unit, finally, so we don't have to do a hundred of these little uh, single-room dudes, because this would also apply to the entire building, but now it is just the single room. So, I, I guess there's that. Digital distribution has also changed. There is no, like, offering a deal with the individual companies or anything like that. You can instead, in the distribution channels thing, set whether or not you want to distribute other companies' products. I'll say yes. 
and we'll take a, I don't know, we'll say 10% cut. And they'll automatically sign up for it now if they find that the price is right. My digital market share, this is left over from the Let's Play, still at 100%. I'm assuming that will close down. Should be noted, you will still need to have multiple of these units. The game will throw you a warning saying that it is overburdened because it is currently at 150% capacity. 140 now, 105, and 84, okay. And they automatically link up and everything too. You don't have to worry about it at all whatsoever, which is quite good. And deals overall, you're no longer offered like a chance to take a deal. You automatically get all of the deals as people come in. It's based on business reputation, how much they pay for it though. So while you will be getting generally more deals, you may not necessarily be getting more money for it. So business reputation matters a heck of a lot more for that. Downside of that is this does get pretty cluttered pretty fast. Do remember that there is a filter up here. If you are only looking for hosting deals, an example, you can select that and it will only pop up that there's a new deal when that filter is, uh, well, a thing. That's generally about it. There are some other like minor changes like the ISP cost is reduced a bunch because the IP ISP costs were getting pretty insane with the digital distribution deals. So now that is significantly lower, companies don't offer publishing deals if they've already sued you, which eliminates one of the more major exploits that was recently brought in with the whole lawyer system going on. And the funding that they give you is now also based on your company reputation. So they probably won't be giving you very much money in the first place anyway. So I'd say that that is officially fixed and out of the game. Market recognition doesn't decline anymore if you haven't released anything for a little while, which is pretty nice. I kind of saw the point of that being a thing, but I can kind of also see that people don't necessarily not recognize you anymore. Uh, they just, they kind of don't remember you, I guess. But if you hear that like, oh wow, id Software is making this thing, you, you kind of forget about them a little bit, but you still know the name. So I can kind of see it going both ways. Employee requirements now scale with the amount of work left on a task, so then if there's any like little bit of 3D art left to do or something like that, uh, it'll be a lot easier to just polish it off and be done with it and finish with it, so you're not waiting forever for that last 1 or 2% to finish up, which is really nice, because I noticed that happening to me a lot with uh, mostly system programming. It would just, it would hang there for months and months and months, and it's like, I think maybe just one dude was capable of maybe working on that and they were just doing something else. And also one of the updates that I'm quite happy with is the scaling issue. If you put something kind of sort of inside of a wall or very, very nearby the wall by reducing the grid size a bunch, it would sort of scale the object a little bit. That's not been fixed. So you don't have to worry about like a cubicle wall being extra fat or, you know, this vending machine being really weird and squished because it's super against the wall and it just it looked weird. So that's out and that's quite good. Happy about that, but otherwise just a bunch of really little stuff that that's the majority of the major things for 11.4. Overall, I'd say a major sidestep, just a bunch of a bunch of fixing in general, just making things look nicer and a couple added features that again, it, like the temperature system didn't really necessarily need to change, but it didn't really get any harder or easier. It just sort of sort of is and I'm, I'm OK with it. it. It's just a big sidestep.